Okay, hello everyone. Uh, thank you, session chair, for the introduction. I will uh, directly, I will go directly to the point. So this is a, a screenshot of uh, a web page. So I want, I would like to. Okay, thank you. So I would like to ask you, uh, would you give your information to this website? I mean, uh. Just uh, by looking at uh, this image, if you want to, uh, if you trust this web page and uh, you are agreed to give your um, information to this web uh, to this web page, can you uh, raise your hands, please? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I saw some hands. <laughs> okay, so this is just um uh. Uh, just a, a preparatory scenes of our major uh, contribution. Uh, because our work deals with fishing, I think the fishing is the, doesn't really uh, need an introduction because the number of fishing uh, increases crazy, and the web and the web is full of uh, this kind of garbage. So, uh, of course, uh, block list, um, we all know, um, it uh, doesn't really work, uh, or it just uh, works in some scenarios. Uh, so, uh, the data drawing method started to uh, use the, um, started to use the, uh, uh, in the context of fishing detection. For example, the motion learning, the benefit of it um, is the uh, motion learning based detector can uh, detect uh, uh, NC fishing. I mean, uh, the fishing web pages that uh, um, not be included in the uh, uh, in the training site in the training data site, um, and even the commercial products uh, also use it. For example, the Google Chrome. So uh, we know the motion learning based. Uh, Fishing website detector uh, work well, but um, uh, but it's uh, vulnerable to evasion attacks. Uh, there are a lot of papers, uh, evidence that um, uh, motion learning based fishing website detector can be uh, evaded by um, uh, evasion attacks and even the uh, commercial anti fishing system. Um, and uh, um, unfortunately, um, there is an interesting um, observation that uh, the machine learning practitioners didn't recognize this issue in practice, like one practitioner said, I never thought about securing my machine learning model. So to convince them, uh, what is uh, the first, uh, I mean, the first focus should be what is the uh, impact of uh, adversarial machine learning on the end users in practice. So we investigate this issue in the context of phishing. As we know, the, the goal of uh, a phishing website is to check a human user to input their uh, successful data. Um, do you remember the 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 image that we uh, the image at the beginning that is a, a real fishing web page and bypass the a commercial machine learning based detector, but uh, uh, and uh, we I can see some of our the audience uh, don't uh, I mean trust them and uh, would like to give their information to this uh, fake websites. So uh, what I think is. A, a successful evasion attack should be not only bypass the phishing detector, uh, but also deceive the human users because the human user is the uh, real target. So we ask uh, three questions to adversarial web pages for users as much as they for motion learning phishing detectors and are some motivations more likely to deceive users and how do users perceive adversarial phishing web pages like what kind of motivations they based on. So we began with a 
public data sites, including B9 and the official web pages, we use it to uh, generate a custom machine learning based official website detector, and we generate the um, the custom or the serial fishing web pages, if they can, if they bypass the uh, custom detector, we will consult them to for for our uh, user study. At the same time, we got one hundred uh, real our serial fishing web pages they, uh, from Pyria work, and they um, bypass the uh, commercial machine learning based detector. Uh, after that, we. Uh, use that web pages in our baseline and uh, adversarial study. Um, in our study, we uh, recruited uh, uh, 470 users and uh, uh, analyzed their responses by um, semantic and uh, statistical analysis. So, for the <coughs> web pages, we consider 15 popular brands and zero in uh, four classes the legitimate. And part of the fishing, uh, custom adversarial fishing, and uh, uh, the real adversarial fishing web pages. So here I give some examples about the um, web pages. This one is um, a fishing web pages without uh, perturbations and from the public data set. And uh, these are the uh, custom adversarial fishing web pages. The first one we. Um, Insert uh, uh, some uh, some perturbation. For example, the first uh, the, the first one we insert uh, uh, the small uh, icons to the photo, and the second one we randomly insert uh, some typos. Um, we also change uh, the HTML. So we um, the the first we change uh, the HTML to make the password visible, and the second one we uh, add a uh, large perturbation. We Replace the, the background. So for the participants, um, they can only uh, participate in our uh, study once, and uh, for uh, each participant, they are also to review fifteen web pages. For each web page, um, they should rate the legitimacy and uh, point out what kind of. Uh, uh, specific indicators on the web page have influenced their choice. So what we found began with uh, uh, the first question: Do adversarial web pages for users as much as they for uh, machine learning fishing detectors? Uh, here, uh, for the baseline study, um, we show the uh, import of a fishing web page, I mean the fishing web page without uh, perturbations and the benign web pages. And for the adversarial study, we uh, display the adversarial fishing web pages and the legitimate web pages. So we found that the users um, are more, like, more likely to deceive adversarial fishing web pages than the end part of the fishing web pages. But uh, the detection rate is still low at um, um, uh, 0.62. So as I said, the, the adversarial uh, fishing web pages, they all bypass the uh, machine learning detector, uh, but only 0.62 um, of them were recognized by users. So that means um, there are 38% of the adversarial uh, fishing web pages can still uh, for users and the detector. And uh, as I mentioned, the uh, adversarial fishing web pages, they are uh, varying uh, perturbations. So um, are some perturbations more likely to uh, deceive users? Uh, our results indicate that um, uh, not all adversarial fishing web pages, uh, web pages equally deceive users. Mm. Adversarial fishing web pages with typos are more likely to be uh, deceived via um, a binary mixed uh, a binary mixed effect regression model. And we found that um, the real adversarial fishing and uh, uh, custom adversarial fishing web pages with typos are significantly uh, can be perceived by users, but uh, others still deceive users. So the last thing is how do users perceive adversarial fishing web pages? Uh, this is um, 
a large page, uh, a large part. You can find uh, everything um, in our paper. So here I just give one uh, example. Uh, this is um, uh, an adversarial phishing web pages with uh, uh, visible. Uh, with visible password, and uh, some uh, we ask the uh, users to um, classify it and uh, point out what uh, what uh, specific indicators have influenced their choice. And some participants do uh, cl do classify it as the legitimate, like one um, participant said the icon photo and the sign in for look correct. And the uh, and the, uh, the user uh, rate it uh, as uh, be none. We to to uh, analyze the uh, the the to qualitatively analyze the uh, responses. We uh, created the uh, code book and uh, coded uh, thirty seven percent of the responses. Okay, so. <laughs> the result indicates uh, test content is most uh, is the most uh, prevalent factor, and just a few users mention the image content. Uh, even the uh, perturbation, uh, the the viral perturbation is large. I mean, we changed the the, the, the whole background, but uh, just a few answers mentioned it. So we are um, uh, case square test. The text content significantly influenced the uh, the, the user's decision. Mm. So, um, because of the time limitation, so this is the end of my uh, talk. You can find everything uh, in our paper, and by scanning this uh, QR code, and we also created the um, created a. Uh, uh, web, a website to show all the code and uh, data we used in our study. So in uh, our study, we um, we studied uh, if the adversarial official web pages are threat in, in in reality. The answer is yes, but it depends on the perturbations. Uh, the typos can increase users' suspicion, uh, but the viral Perturbations deceive users. We also investigated the uh, user demographic uh, uh, information uh, if they can uh, influence the user's uh, uh, detection. So, last but not least, um, I would like to thank my uh, collaborators. I cannot be here to give a talk without their help. <laughs> so, that's it. I hope done. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Thank you.